Hi, Moyer Fountain here with Timber Frame HQ. Today we're going to look at how to set your circular saw machine angle to cut a compound angle on your timber. Let's look at an example. This jack rafter here going into this hip. We'll look at this one particular piece. Here's the jack rafter going into the hip before the hip has received its backing cuts. Here's the jack rafter represented as the rough stock piece it would be. And here, this plane, which is the plane of your hip, creates the compound angle that you're going to have to cut in the process of producing this piece. I've taken the jack rafter and I've laid it down as you would have on your saw horses to make it easier to see what we're doing here. This angle right here is the clip angle. And you need that when you actually house your jack rafter into a hip, but we will not get into that today. So let's go over here and look at this piece. Right here is your compound plane that you need to cut. It's essentially the plumb face of your hip. This line here is the cut line that your saw will have to run down to cut this piece. Now this, is, this turns out to be a very acute angle that most saws will not be able to reach. And you have to go a different way about cutting it. But the principle still remains the same. So how do we find the machine angle for the saw from having these four lines laid out on the four faces of your piece? Well, the saw angle only pivots square to the direction it travels. So your machine angle is actually inside your piece of wood. Well, how do you find it? The way you find that <clears throat> is by finding this angle right in here. The one that's in pink represents your saw angle. You have to lay this out. And the way to do that is you come down on this bottom arras, plumb up to this arras, and then you square off of your cut line to that point. You've then produced the angle that your saw needs to be set on to cut this compound cut. Well, it still doesn't do as much good inside the wood. We have to bring it out to a place where we can measure it. So if you have a compass, you could swing it over here. You could also just measure it and bring it over to the, to the, to the face of the timber. But the, the concept is if you think about this angle swinging out to this face, you then have your saw angle on the face of your timber. At that point, you take your bevel gauge, you set it from this triangle, take it to your saw, set your saw, and then make your cut. You would be left with the piece there. I hope this has given you some help. Cheers.